We had a referral from a gentleman um, that came to myself. The guy has got social care needs. He was wheelchair bound. He's got um, minor spasticity. He had a pubis catheter. Um, he had COPD and chronic arthritis. His care package was revoked because they stated that he was more independent. He could do the things that the support worker was gaining and doing. And that was the case. He was showering himself and he was getting a little bit more confident in the kitchen and things like that. But he only did that because he had the support of somebody there. He phoned me up in quite a distraught state, stating that he wanted to appeal the decision. I said, right, I'll come out and see you. I took the Care Act toolkit with me. And at that point, I took it with me for my own guidance. So I was going to be ringing up and making another, making another referral. But we came to the decision to fill it in. We did a little bit together and then he did the rest on his own. He rang adult social care up, he went through the care at Toolkit. He took it down to the library, he attached it to his emails and he also sent that off as well by email. So they had a, you know, a copy of that as well. So he, he was assessed and it was agreed that he should have his care package put back into place and he got a better care package than before. He was on two calls a day. He got some support in the morning to get him out of bed and to prepare a meal. And he got some support in the evening if he wanted to have a shower and also if he wanted any meals prepared. I think the benefits are that the client knows themselves better than anybody else can. And there were certain things that this gentleman may not have wanted to speak to me about. There was quite a lot of issues around his toileting needs and you know things like that. So, that that's his right to be able to put that down without me seeing so and also it it's sustainable isn't it so if he's ever in this situation again he knows what to do you know he might be in a situation where he hasn't got a worker uh, and his care package is revoked from him but now he has the tools to know how to get that back in place or at least to advocate for himself and i think the thing that the gentleman noticed the most was that how how one need would cross over into other needs and that if his physical health wasn't good that would impact on his mental health and his well-being and if you know his what his mental health was poor his diet was poor and it was you know he could really clearly identify um where he was really really struggling and what one area how that could impact on all the others